Hey guys, Zephyr here. Today I'm going to be giving an overview and a tutorial on how to set up voice meter banana to get more control over your audio tracks and broadcasting and recording. So what is voice meter banana exactly? Well, voice meter banana is an advanced audio mixer application endowed with virtual audio devices used as virtual input and outputs to mix and manage any sources from or to any audio device or applications on your computer. It's distributed as donationware, meaning it is free software, but you're encouraged to support the developers so they can continue supporting the software. I've included a link to the download page in the description, and as a side note, this video is not sponsored or supported in any way, shape, or form by the Voice Meter team. I'm doing this out of my love for this software. I will be demonstrating some of the basic functions of Voice Meter Banana and how to set it up to get multiple different tracks in OBS to separate your microphone, desktop, and Discord slash VOIP audio. This is useful for getting more advanced control of your microphone and being able to control your desktop and communication software separately. So how do you set it up? First, a few notes. When picking your devices, WDM and K are low latency and MME is high latency, so you want to use the former two if possible. If your microphone is giving you a single-sided stereo mix, if your microphone is giving you a single-sided stereo mix, that is, you can only hear the left or right side of your microphone when you talk, you can force it to mono by clicking the mono button underneath of your mic. Your first hardware output device, A1, as illustrated here, decides what sample rate all of your hardware devices will output. So if you choose for example, like I have my Blue Yeti, inside of your system settings, it will set your sample rate and buffer to that sample rate buffer for that device. And last, you want to tweak your microphone's levels and device settings in Windows. This will make everything much easier. Personally, I drop my Yeti's audio all the way down to zero in Windows so to get the cleanest audio out and only boost it by using the gain knob on the back of my microphone. And if I need a little bit more or less, I will sometimes tweak it within Voice Mirror Banana as well. Now, let's get into the setup. First of all, you'll want to set up all of your audio inputs and outputs. So to do that, you left click on the microphone tab and you click on your microphone Phone. Audio outputs, it works the same. You click these tabs here to assign different outputs. I have my Blue Yeti set as an output because that's what I plug my headphones into. I also have my HD60S set as an output. Second, you want to pipe all of your microphones to B1. This is what is used as your microphone output to OBS, Discord, Skype, games, anything that'll use your microphone. Third, set the output of your VoIP applications like Discord to voice meter aux input. This is to separate your VoIP clients from your desktop audio. While you're here, you also want to set your input device to voice meter output. Every piece of software that you use your microphone in, you're going to use voice meter output. That's where your mic audio is going to come from. Fourth, you want to set your voice meter VAIO and voice meter aux shown in these tabs here to all of your hardware outputs, so that way you can hear the audio coming from them. Also, while you're here, you set voice meter VAIO to B2. I'll show you this later in OBS, but when you set that up, it's so that way uh, it's a separate channel within OBS that has only your desktop and game audio, so that way you can edit it if you go to edit your videos or streams later on. And fifth, go into your Windows sound settings and set your output device to voice meter input and set your input device to voice meter output. Now I'll move over to the OBS side of things. In your audio device settings, set your desktop audio to voice meter input. Set your desktop audio 2 to voice meter aux input. Set your mic slash aux audio 1 to voice meter output and set mic slash aux audio 2 to voice meter aux output. Desktop audio device 1 is your game audio. Desktop audio device two is your VoIP audio for software like Discord, TeamSpeak, etc. Your mic aux audio device one is all of your microphones you have set up in Voice Meter Banana. And fourth is if you have the optional fourth step in Voice Meter, which is setting your VAIO to B2, this will be an unmodified stream of your desktop audio. So you can take that and go back into your editing later and edit that. If you go to your settings and you go to output and you go to audio, you can label your different tracks. So as you can see here, I have my tracks labeled as all audio, microphone, desktop audio, and VOIP audio. All audio is what goes to the stream. So I have my microphone, my desktop, and my VOIP audio there. And then the next 
three tracks are the only tracks that I select in the recording tab and that's what goes out when I edit my videos. So that way the first track, all the audio mixed together isn't included. So I have them separate. Now go to edit, advanced audio properties and set your tracks to each uh, device you want. So in the first line, that's the audio line that goes out to your stream. So you want to select your desktop audio and games, your microphone and your VOIP audio to go out to track one. Track two, you're going to only want your mic. Track three, you're only going to want your desktop audio that's unfiltered and track four will be VOIP audio. You've now set up your voice meter banana and OBS to separate your tracks to four different channels. Your first track that goes out to your stream with all of your audio and three separate tracks with your mic, desktop audio and VOIP audio for you to go edit later on in your videos. As a reminder, I stream Monday, Wednesday and Friday plus weekends on twitch.tv slash Zephyr. A link is in the description. It's a little bit hard to convey and it's also on screen now as well. If you need any help setting this up or if you need any help with OBS or streaming in general, don't hesitate to come and ask in chat. I do a lot of work with this and I've been uh, doing stuff with OBS since early 2015. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next Wednesday.